Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. What we are doing today is um, we are going to go on a fishing trip and we're looking for a trophy fish named Porthos. He is a muskie that lives in Lake Boulder. Um, according to the guide on uh, trophy fish in the website for the game, He's just west of the Darby boat ramp, all right? So we're gonna do dynamic weather. Uh, time of day is gonna be sunrise, and I'm bringing in my Predator tackle box. And let's just check it out. I'll show you guys um, this setup I'm bringing. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch him. I have not been able to catch Porthos yet. Um, I've been looking for him west of the ramp. I tried the first inlet. I got nothing but a bunch of salmon and trout in that area. So he's definitely not there. Uh, then I went on Reddit and uh, it looks like some Redditors were uh, discussing the situation. And uh, apparently someone had caught him in the second inlet uh, by a rock. Just east of the rock is what it said. Uh, don't know. The person that put up the thread uh, had his account deleted, but he just didn't, didn't have a username. So uh, I'm not sure who it was uh, who said this, but I was just reading a bunch of the threads there, and uh, we're going to try this area based on that. Just to save myself a little bit of time, but I know a couple of you guys have been asking me if I've ever caught this guy. I have not, so I figured it's time to give it a shot. Alright, guys, so. Here we are, um, we got uh, the 50 pound Versa Braid, alright, Porthos I believe is 70 pounds, 70 plus pounds, um, so yeah, you definitely don't want to come in here with anything less than 30, I'd probably try to get the 40 or 50 pound for sure, uh, just to give you guys a better chance that he won't snap the line. And uh, we're actually going to start with uh, all top waters just to see if we get uh, a visual sighting of the guy. I, I practiced this the other day. I actually was shooting a video hoping I'd get him. I obviously did not get him, so you're not seeing that video. But, uh, but yeah, but I did see something massive, just absolutely massive swimming in the water. So we're going to try these uh, top waters. We got the two head-ons, the perch one and the gold pink one. And then we got in the middle here the pencil bait, the royale. Um... These are, you know, you want something above four inches, I would say. Most of the lures I'm going to use are going to be three and a half inches and above. I want to stay, we'll try a spoon, maybe some swimming baits. And yeah, we'll fish this spot. The great thing about this spot is that it's also a good spot for predators in general. It's just not what I would call a hot spot in that you're catching something every single time you throw in your your lure so I don't know if it's very good for tournament but you can definitely come here and just do a casual fish and you are definitely definitely gonna catch um, some some pike some musky there's trout I, I, I even caught a channel catfish using one of these uh, the Smithwick devil horse which I thought was pretty funny because um, he was like four pounds and um, but yeah, no, I've, I've caught a couple of uh, tr Trophy Northern Pike here, and, uh, you know, between 25 and 40 pounds have caught uh, Predators here. So they are pretty big in this area, which is a good sign. Hopefully we can get Porthos today. Gonna decrease my speed there a bit. I also was catching a lot when I was practicing. Uh, I caught most of them actually not on top lures, but on. Uh... Okay, see, there's something big there. That looks like Xander though. But uh, what was I gonna say on 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 the shads, which is um, on the ocean breeze? I was catching some by twitching around. 
10 feet, so we're definitely going to do that again. But I just like the top lures, guys, because you can just visually see what kind of fish there are in the water. So if we see some gigantic muskies or pikes, then uh, we know at least we're in the right area. My goal right now is to just see if we can catch Porthos here. Just to see if this is his location, right? There's really no videos on YouTube of anyone catching him as far as I know. Uh, if you find one, let me know, please. But, um... But, yeah, basically... We just want to make sure he's here, so I might pull out the Trophy Hunter DLC lures, which is the gold lures. There's some big stuff uh, swimming down there. There's something big coming after it, but I think... Look like a short fish. So, I don't know. We're going to do uh, three more casts. I've never tried to stop and go or twitching with the top lures. I don't really do that much. Oh, something came up for it. That was fast. It looked like a bass, probably. Oh, it's a salmon. It's a Chinook salmon. So I'm going to let it go, guys, just because I know it's a salmon. and We're looking for Porthos right now. I don't want to waste time. I will bring something in if I think it's uh, very big. So there's something swimming there. It's very good size. But it doesn't look ginormous. That just looks like a, probably like a 30 pound pike. But I'm telling you man, one time I was in this area and the silhouette, it was like a monster. So hopefully um, we can get him today. That ca I wonder if there's catfish here too, like big catfish. Alright, we're gonna do one more cast. And then we're gonna switch the lure. Something pretty long there. Alright, let's try the pencil bait royale. Bring it in at a two. Bass going after it. Okay, guys, I don't care about this bass, so I'm just gonna reset the cast. And we'll give it another go. So see, this one doesn't have as many big fish swimming around it, man. So, I might just, uh, I don't have enough money, though, to, um, this 50-pound line cost me 8,000 TP, and I didn't have that much saved up. But I wouldn't mind getting some more Haddon um, ones. But we could also try the Smithwick Frogs. They're pretty large topwater lures. And if not, we, we always got the Pro Shad, so we'll give that a shot, too. But, um, yeah, this one doesn't look... Oh, there's something pretty big there. 
He looks skinny though, long and skinny, but we'll uh, give this two more tries. And hey, maybe we'll try like stop and go. Can you do stop and go with these? Yeah, you can. Nothing. All right, this is my last one, and I'm gonna bring it in pretty fast at a three. So we'll see what happens there. And we got ourselves a bass, I believe. Yeah, that's a bass. So I'm gonna let him go, guys. Don't care about bass right now. Okay, so we were catching more bass with that uh, pencil bait, so forget it. Let's go to the perch. Head on. Head on. Head, head on. Head on. How do you say that? Anyway. Let's try this. Let's give this a shot. Oh, okay. So the long skinny thing we're seeing is a gar. Haven't seen a gar here in this spot before, so. That is kind of interesting, for sure. That's too bad. I canceled it before I got the bite. I really hope that was in Porthos, guys. That would totally suck. But I haven't seen the silhouette of anything too massive yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the boat up uh, ahead and then try casting with this lure. Um, this lure is the one that was bringing out uh, a massive silhouette when I was practicing. So. We'll do two more casts, and then we'll switch spots. Uh, we'll try Pro Shad. Actually, I guess before I switch the spot, I should uh, try a couple different lures in the spot. Yeah, maybe that's what I will do. Yeah. This one. We'll try. Oh, something splashed up there. Probably a bass. We'll try two. All right, you know what? One more try, one more try. We'll start at a one, see if we can even out the way this retrieval works. Well, some pretty big there, but it might just be the long the long mouse. I wish he wasn't there because he's kind of throwing me off, but um, it's alright. No biggie. Alright, so we're going to keep on our perch knocker there, but um, 
we're gonna try this guy. And then we're gonna try this guy. Caught some massive fish with this guy, so I, I like this lore. The pro shot, the ocean breeze. Alright, here we go. Let that sink to about 10 feet, and then bring it in uh, with a twitch. Nothing. I should get a pike at least uh, biting here, but nothing so far, guys. So I might move the boat down a little ways. Uh, just gonna try the Smithwick too, real quick. But uh, let that sink to almost 10 feet, and then start trying to twitch it. There we go, we got something. Uh, something, some decent sized. But I don't think it's Porthos, but it's definitely a Pike or a Muskie, so that's good. He hasn't wanted to take out the line, which I find pretty interesting. I have a feeling that Porthos would probably take the the line hundreds of feet out, but yeah, he's not. I believe this is a northern pike, and he's a decent size, but uh, he's not definitely not. He might be a trophy catch actually, but not what we came here for. Well, let's just bring it in and see. See what we got here. Alright, he's coming in. Northern Pike, I believe. Oh! It's a cool looking one. And that is a 30 pound trophy catch, Northern Pike. Beautiful looking fish. But not the guy we were looking for, so we're gonna have to give this another shot. I'm 
Maybe I should try the other uh, pro shot I have, the orange peel as well. And boom, something right away. And this is something that's taking my line out. But it uh, could be a bass. Could be a salmon. But yeah, it might just be... What is that? I have no idea what this is, guys. Oh, it is a bass. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'll bring him in. I'm gonna bring this guy in. Why not? Just so you guys can see what it is. He did, uh... Yeah, I knew he was gonna be big. It's an eight pound. Nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, let's go again. We'll keep trying this lure because um, it's getting some good action. And boom. Okay, this one's uh, actually dragging out my line, which is phenomenal. But it's not dragging it out far enough that I think I have Porthos. It doesn't even look that big visually. What is this? Catfish, I think. Is this a catfish? Not sure what this is, guys, but uh, yeah, that looks like what the heck is that? I can't even tell. He jumped. Okay, we're about to see what this is. Mystery fish. You can see it? Oh, it's just a big old brown trout. It's a weird pattern. Never seen that pattern before on them. Salmon. Oh, he looks... He looks like a good size. I'm gonna bring him in. Could be a personal best. So I'm definitely gonna bring him in. He looks like a big old salmon. Come on, buddy, get tired. Get tired. That's a nice size salmon, man. Personal best, I knew it. 22 pound salmon. Beautiful and tasty. <laughs> All right, uh, let's try one more time. 
And then I think I'll stay with this lure, but I'm gonna move the boat up, I think. Could be a good plan. This is uh, just a smaller pike. That's fine. We'll bring him in anyway. Okay, it's actually a muskie. A tiger muskie. Little 15 pound one. Man, it's just catching fish after fish in the spot. Great little spot right now. This might just become a predator spot <laughs> in Lake Volder video. Yeah, I don't want to even see where you are. Don't care. Alright, guys. We're gonna move down the lake. Down. By down the lake, I mean we're just gonna slightly move uh, closer to the rock and just fish a bit more down. Okay, that is a coho salmon. bring him in just for the sake of showing you guys uh, all the different multi-species that are in the spot because I mean this might be good if you're doing a, a tournament actually because heck I'm catching a ton of them one after the other but I have come here where I cut nothing um, I, I cut like three fish in an hour so I don't know if it's because uh, the time of day I picked but um, this could be a good spot for you guys to come check out, for sure, if you just want to do a bit of multi-species predator fishing. Got a nice little coho salmon, and um, yeah, let's go, I mean, let's just keep going with this lure. This lure is just taking, bringing in all the fish, except for the one we want, but uh, that's alright, we'll keep trying. Well, there's a weird thing where like, okay, get out of here. I don't know, this is just a tiny little bass. All right, we're gonna aim uh, to the right of the boat a bit now. We're gonna let this sink to about 15 feet this time.
What are you? That's a rainbow trout, is it? Pretty good sized trout, actually. I think it's a trout. Yeah, it's definitely a rainbow trout. And she's a good size. That's a nice sized trout, man. Nine pounds. Nice. Let's let this sink about 20 feet. Let's go 20 feet, see what happens. strike that sucks but it'll do hopefully it's not poor thoughts it is a it is a big pike or musky but it's not a huge one oh I'm crazy dudes I'm blind that is not a pike ram musky, that's a long nose gar. Forty one inches long. That'd be nice in a tournament, for sure. Alright, let's go this way. Let this sink. We'll let we'll let it sink twenty feet again. Almost 20 feet, I guess. Alright, let's try one more. What was up with that? That was weird. Okay. Guys, I am not sure what's happening. Okay, that was extremely weird. Hopefully everything is okay. Okay. I think I clipped my line. Um... trying to unclip it but it's not working Let's see if that worked nope <laughs> all right guys this is ridiculous do this let's go back to the perch see if we catch anything or see anything more importantly see anything it's a bit fast isn't it
Okay. There is a decent size predator fish right there and a pretty big bass coming after this. Okay, that, whatever that was, actually looked pretty big. Don't know if that's Porthos, but looked big, man. Let's try one more time. Salmon. Alright, I'm gonna let that one go, guys. Um, we'll try the Smithwick. Another salmon? No, it's a Xander. Alright, I'll bring him in just for the sake of showing the multi species. Nice. He's a good size. Walleye. Walleye. Alright. Um, we'll try this again. Okay, that was weird. I think that was another walleye. Let's go to the right of the boat. Pretty, I don't know if that's a bass, but that if that's a bass, that's a pretty big freaking bass that's right there. We'll go right where the splashing is. Yeah, there's a decent size uh, musky coming after it. Or a pike. Alright, I'm gonna do... I 
feel like I want to try something different. You know what? We're going to try... Even though it's a smaller lure than what I want to use, we're going to try it. We're also going to try this gold one from the DLC pack. And we're going to try the Ben Parker spoon. Let's just switch it up. We'll let the sink to about the 10 foot. I got impatient there, you guys. It's just the sink's so slow, dang. That's why I never use these spinner baits. They just take forever to sink. Okay, no, that's terrible. Alright, we'll try this uh, super gold. And then we're gonna go back to top lures, because I just feel like... I think it's maybe just too deep for this to work effectively. Oh. Hit the button in the wrong direction there. Yeah. So we're gonna try the, the spoon now. The spoon is nice. She sinks fast. It's eight inches too, so hopefully only big fish are gonna go for this. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Alright, looks like we got a medium sized predator. I'll bring him in anyway. Just to see what it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a little 16 pound musky. Not bad. So where's Porthos though? 
That is the big question. I might give it 10 more minutes, guys, and then I gotta call it quits on this one. But hey, if we don't catch Porthos in the next 10 minutes, at least we know that there's a ton of predators here. Different species. You guys can come in, check it out. Don't know how good it is for tournament play, but uh, you can always give it a shot. You are definitely gonna catch something. I was the most successful with the Ocean Breeze Pro Shad, and this spoon is doing pretty well as well. So far. Okay, we got another pike. So I'm loving the spoon, man. I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep, uh, keep, keep it up with the spoon for a bit. Cause it's targeting the correct species of fish that we want, so that's fantastic. Come on, big fella. Alright, what do we got here? Beautiful. Trophy catch. Northern Pike. I'm gonna keep casting in this direction because that's what I'm where I'm getting them the musky and the pike. So that makes sense to me. Okay, let's try a little bit to the right of that. And let's let this sink to 20 feet this time. And we're gonna bring it in slow, nice and slow. All right, we're going to let it sink to 20 feet again, but this time I'm going to do a, a quicker retreat. Oh. Oh, okay, but in this area, it's a little tougher because there's a weird, like, shoal there, so it's, it's a bit strange there. So you can see it's going to drop off from 12 feet to 40 feet out of nowhere. There we go. But yeah, we don't have enough distance now, so I just gotta go a bit to the right to do what I wanted to do there. 
But yeah, it looks like the, the spoon has died, died down a bit. So... Might have to switch her out. I wouldn't mind trying the gold swimming bait and the gold spoon. But let's just um, let this sink to 20 feet. And we're going to do a, a just a constant retrieve on it. And nothing. Okay, guys, uh, it's gonna be the last switch, and uh, we're gonna try some uh, gold gold baits. See if we get lucky, because these are from the Trophy Hunter uh, DLC. So, if anything can catch Porthos. It's maybe one of these, so we'll see. You guys have to get these in the DLC. I usually try to avoid fishing with these, just because not everybody has them. But either way, we did not catch Porthos yet, but hey guys, great spot for multi-species. I'll do a rundown of, all the, of everything we caught. I'll do a summary uh, before I take off. that one I think it's bass you guys I don't let let him go Okay, another poor strike. And I think probably another bass. Yeah, let this guy go. Go closer to the rock. Okay, that uh, didn't work out too good for us. You know what? Let's go this way. And this lure is getting nothing. I mean, 
okay, we did get a couple bites that I let go, but it just wasn't what I wanted. But we'll try one more and then we'll switch her out. Damn it. <laughs> Alright guys, looks like another salmon. Um, let's just uh, bring it in real quick. Bring in the salmon. I don't care about bass. I'm not bass fishing. I'm predator fishing right now. For Porthos, but he just doesn't want to come out. I'm going to have to try different times of day. Until I find him so I can make a video for you guys. I will keep trying. But for now, at least you know that there's a ton of different fish in the spot. Nice variation. Alright. Last try with this damn lure that I thought would do a lot better. Okay, I cannot get a good twitch going. Alright. Let's do one more with this one, guys. Nice, there you go. Okay. Whatever this is, it's sticking out my line. That's a good sign. But it's not really taking it too far. 45 yards, 46 yards, and they give up fighting, so I assume this is a fairly decent pike or muskie. Or neither. What is this, a trout? Dang. I don't know what this is, guys. I'm pretty horrible at calling them today. It's actually a tiny fish. Well, it's a nice brown trout, so yeah, multi-species spot for sure, 100%, man. Okay, so let's try the golden tiger. And then what time is it? Oh man, I gotta go. I went over time, but that's okay. Did want to try maybe five casts with the two lures I have here. What the heck is this? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. Yellow perch. Awesome. Awesome yellow perch.
Let's do one this way, guys. Why not? Why not? Then do one this way. I think this is my fourth cast, so we got one more cast with this lore. Alright, this is the last one. And then we're gonna try the swim bait. And then I am gone. Okay, it's sticking up my line. That might not mean anything. Took it out 50 yards. That's interesting. No fish has done that yet. So I'm interested to see what we got here. Maybe it's another perch. Oh no, guys, it's a trout. We got a nice uh, rainbow trout. Wow, that's that's beauty. That's big. Nine pounds. Nice. Alright guys, uh let's go to with the swim bait. And then uh this is gonna be our last round of casting. We'll do five or six casts. And then I'll do a catch summary and then that's it. You guys, thanks again to all the new subscribers. What is going on? What is going on? Weird. Okay, there we go. Thank. What I was saying was, <laughs> thank you guys to all the new subscribers, um, all the comments, all the likes. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I never thought that uh, I would get over a thousand subscribers on this channel. Just uh, having some fun, playing um, fishing sim world. I'm not adverse to trying other fishing games. I logged almost 80 hours in Fishing Planet a few years ago. I like that one too, but I haven't made any videos. I've mostly focused on this game. But I mean, there are other fishing games that I could definitely try. If you guys know of some other favorite fishing games, one that I should try, you guys let me know in the comments below. Um, I've also was playing Red Dead uh, over the new year. Like a few months ago and I just started playing it a bit again and it does have fishing in it so I was thinking of maybe doing uh, let's go fishing some Red Dead edition because there is some trophy hunting for uh, fish you can do on that one so I was thinking maybe switch it up do something different for the channel but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see for now, this game is pretty fun, and uh, I've just been having a lot of fun making these videos. 
And yeah, and I guess that I just want to start hunting for some cool trophy fish and maybe checking out some of the DLC. Um, okay, we got something. Let's see what we got. It's taking out the line. That's nice. Four to six yards. Come on, just take it out to 100 yards. Be something huge. Nope. Don't think this is Porthos, guys, but we'll wait and see what it is. Looks like a medium-sized predator. Uh, like a pike or a muskie. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Sorry guys, I <laughs> I really thought I could bring it in at 50, but I guess it still had fight in it, so whoopsie, it happens. Alright, I lost count of my uh, casting number. But uh, just, I'm just going to do two more and then call it a day. It's just a bass. Just a little smallmouth bass. I'm gonna let him go and do one more try here. God, guys, are you seeing that on the right hand side? Yeah, like, are you serious? Is that him? Okay, I was about to go, but I'm seeing him swimming there, and I can't just. That's gotta be him, that, whatever that was, was gigantic. Whatever that was, was ginormous, so I guess I'm not going just yet. I'm gonna have to be late to where I'm going. <laughs> but I couldn't believe the size of what I just saw swimming there, man. Look at that! That's gotta be him! That has to be him! Okay, that. So we got a ginormous fish <laughs> that just won't uh, won't go for it.
man, that is too bad. That would have been awesome to catch him right at the end. He's gone, though. I don't see him anymore. Just gonna leave the lure on the water a bit. Alright. Uh, we are gonna try to just do a couple of these just because he's there he's swimming there And maybe he just won't go for the top lure right now But maybe just maybe He will go for this Man, I can't believe, like, that was a gig ginormous muskie. That must be him. This must be the spot, but... Just wonder what... What lore you got him with. Okay, come on, be him. I don't think it's him, guys. Wait, this is taking out my line. 60 yards. 67 yards. This is 70 yards. This is great, great news, man. Wow. 90 yards. I think we got him, guys. 100 yards. This is incredible. This better be him. This better be him. He just took my line out. 130 yards. Come on, big fella. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Alright, he's gonna start coming in. I don't know how long this fight is gonna be. Hopefully I don't run out of space on my hard drive. <laughs> These videos are get pretty big. At 1080p, that's just what I do, it's just easier. Does the job. Uh, but uh, yeah, but actually I noticed the last couple of videos I've actually been doing 720p for some reason. I haven't meant to do that, but definitely need to do at least 1080p. But Anyway, guys, I'm pretty sure that this is Porthos, but only time will tell. Um, he's definitely putting in a fight, and he took out my line 130 yards. Okay, he's taking out the line again. Hopefully, I don't lose him. That would be terrible.
All right, guys. 46 yards away. There he is. That's a beast. That is a beast. What is it? Gigantic. Look at that. Oh, it's not even Porthos. It's just a massive 46 pound musky. Damn it, dudes. I thought that would be him. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, that's terrible. I'm pretty disappointed. I really thought we had him there. But hey, listen. At least you know you can get a 46 pound uh, musky here. Man, that's this, that's heartbreaking. Oh, I really thought we had um, Porthos. That sucks. But anyway, guys, check out this uh, catch summary, man. Look, we got Northern Pike, Largemouth Bass, Brown Trout, Chinook Salmon, Tiger Musky, Coho Salmon, Rainbow Trout, Longnose Gar, Walleye, Musky, Northern Pike, Yellow Perch. And look, we got a few trophies, four trophies, and I broke my personal best on a few fish here. So that was really fun. Too bad we didn't catch Porthos. But you guys, you guys bet I'm going to keep trying. So thanks so much for watching. You guys are the best. Hope everybody's safe. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching.